Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know, my name is Shannon, and if you're coming back, then welcome back. Um, so today I am doing the one product challenge. Basically what that is, is when instead of using, I use up most likely three products in my hair daily, um, I am only using one. So I saw this around YouTube. I saw a lot of um, curly haired YouTubers doing this where they took their favorite product and that was the only product they used for the entire day. Whew. So I decided instead of using a product that I already know, that you know I already love and everything, I would try out a new product today and see if I could only use that one product for, you know, for my hair. So if you are interested in seeing which product I used as well as if it actually works, and if I could go with only using one product instead of my three that I normally do, then please continue to watch the video. And if you do like the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in a minute. All right. So like I said, I'm going to be styling my hair using only one product and water. So like one and a half. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. So the one product that I'm going to be using is the Jelly Soft Curls. Um, it's the best darn super soft gel, period. Uh, let's see. So let me tell you guys a little bit about it. So when you choose Miss Jessie's products, you're getting curly hair products. Actually, that's what the products are. I'm going to read what this one's about, which is this. Let's just see. Um... Wash and go for people who want pop and curls without the crunch. Super soft curls. Your shiniest, smoothest, sexiest curls yet. Oh. And it looks like for instructions, evenly distribute a cap full or more to damp, freshly washed, conditioned, and detangled hair. Spread a generous amount until you have good coverage. Make sure you scrunch the hair to encourage curl to dry. Either use a diffuser attached to it dry the hair or air dry and go to refresh curls dampen hair and apply a cap full of more of jelly soft curls and repeat steps above so that's why i chose this product um a lot of products when you get them they will actually say like to get the full effect use this product and this product this is one of those products that was kind of like hey you buy this use this that's it so my hair was dry like usual i started doing other things and now it's or my hair was wet now it's dry so i was just going through i'm not gonna get it super wet because i'm doing this before work and it's cold outside and i don't feel like water in my hair so i'm just getting it a little damp i would say okay let's do this. Let me get my hair up. Alright, so let's see. I have not used this one. Mm, it smells like... It has like a floral smell to it. It doesn't stink. It's just really... It's strong. It's really strong. So keep that in mind. I've used their other product. Um, what is it? Like their Pill Soft Curls. And their pillow soft curls from what I'm just using a capful before I put it in my hair. Their pillow pillow soft curls are more um, that product is more expensive. But when I was looking at the backs and I was reading them because that was the one I was going to get because it's one of their most popular ones. But as I was reading about it, I was like, these literally are saying they do the same exact things, except this is jelly soft curls. And that one is pillow soft curls. Um, their pillow soft worked really well for me. I don't have any issues about it, but this was, I believe, fourteen or fifteen dollars, and their pillow soft was twenty one, twenty one. And I was in where was I when I was looking at them? Target, Target. No, I was at my local um, grocery store actually that was there because they were having a sale on hair products, but of course those weren't on sale. So yeah, but yeah, so, you know, it's going through, <sighs> I 
another dime size amount. When it comes to any type of gel products, I'm really iffy about how much I put into my hair. Because once you overdo it with your gel, it's like it weighs your curls down. And I don't like having, I like volume and curls that are super bouncy and fun and all that. And gel can ruin that. <laughs> Sounds depressing, but it's the truth. So I'm going to do this in this. I'm gonna make sure um, one of my big spots though is the back. These right here. It is the first if my hair is gonna frizz, I know because that'll be the first thing to go. The back where my curls are back here. Oh, did I mention when I did this, I don't have any, I did a wash night last night, let it dry, put my hair up in a bun, went to bed, woke up, did this. So there's no product in my hair, no detangler, no nothing, no leave-in conditioner. So this will be a full-on review just for this. Hopefully it works. I will be back. I'm going to let it dry and we'll go from there. Right, so <clears throat> as you saw, I decided to do a little bit of diffusing on it instead because, like I said, I have work this morning and I don't want to wait forever and I don't want to go into the cold with my hair wet. So I am currently, you know, picking it out a little bit. So, what am I thinking about using only one product? Instead of my normal, um, I usually use a leave-in conditioner mixed with a gel product, if not like a hair milk, something like so, at least. And then sometimes I'll use a little bit of an oil to stop the frizz as well. So what do I think of using only one product? This is totally worth it. <laughs> Um, I like it. My hair feels freaking great. My curls feel good. They're not too um, scrunched up. So they're not too, what is it? Oh, I'm not figuring out the word right now. They're not like shrinkage. There's not so much shrinkage in them, which is great. And they're also really fluffy. And I have a stigma about or maybe not a stigma, but I have like, whenever I use a gel, a product that is solely a gel, I think of like my days back in middle school when I used to use gel in my hair and my curls were really like way down. They looked almost wet because I would use like this horrible alcohol-based gel and I would use so much of it. So my curls never looked like this for a long time because I was... I was more under the impression that I needed to just contain them, so I did to the max, and it was like, oh, if you guys saw some of my photos from back then, whoo, yeah, it was serious back there. But I really like this product. Like I said, I like their Pillow Soft one. This one is cheaper, and I definitely recommend it. Um, I like it a lot. Um, it smells good in the hair. Like I said, it kind of has a strong smell. And let me see. It says on here, no mineral oil, no paraffin, no artificial colors, no animal ingredients, no petroleum, no sulfates, no, don't know what that says, and no animal testing. So there's a lot of no's on there, and I like it. And actually, what's crazy is if you look on the back of their Pillow Soft Curls, and you look on the back of this one, their Pillow Soft Curls has a ton of ingredients that I have no idea what they are so I mean I don't know those ingredients could be good for your hair but this one if you're more about like minimalistic type of products this one has a lot less of the ingredients than their pillow soft curls so just keep that in mind too but I definitely recommend it I'm so happy this was so much quicker than using all my products, my curls feel great. So I'm gonna probably do this until my next wash day. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe below and I will see you 
next time.